Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to collaborate with your team within Loomly. You can invite collaborators to Loomly from each of your calendars by clicking on the Invite Collaborators option located in the drop-down menu on the right-hand side of your toolbar. You can also invite collaborators directly from the Collaborators tab of your calendar settings. Each collaborator you invite will receive an email invitation prompting them to join your calendar, either by creating an account or simply by logging in if they already have one. Calendar invitations expire after 14 days when the collaborator you invite does not already have a Loomly account. If an invitation expires or is accidentally deleted, you can resend it up to three times. When you invite a collaborator to join a calendar, you can assign a role to them. Loomly comes with four default roles out of the box, editor, client, contributor, and viewer. Note that the owner role is automatically attributed to the user who creates a calendar. You can learn more about each role in our FAQ section. Additionally, custom roles allow you to create tailor-made sets of permissions for each of your team members in a more granular and flexible way. A quick tip, the user management panel located in the billing tab of your account settings provides you with an overview of the users on your plan and lets you manage all your collaborators in one place. You can invite users, grant them access to other calendars, update their role in each calendar, and remove users from your subscription. Loomly also offers four different workflow options, which determine how a post is created from start to finish. Original workflow is ideal for larger teams when multiple people need to review and approve a post. Light workflow is best suited for smaller teams when one person needs to approve a post. Zero workflow is perfect for solo users when no one needs to approve a post. Custom workflow is the way to go when you need to automate your team's workflow with collaborator assignments for specific post dates and consolidate your approval process with conditional guards. Triggers let you define a set of collaborators who will be automatically assigned to post whenever those reach a given state. For example, you can create a trigger that automatically assigns your manager or your client to posts that are pending approval, rather than doing so manually. Guards allow you to specify a set of collaborators who need to take action on a post before it can move to a different state. For example, you can create a guard that requires the approval of your manager or your client before a post can be published. Consistently with other features in Loomly, you can select a different workflow for each of your calendars. Depending on the workflow you select, a post can be one of seven states. A post in the draft state means that it is not ready to be scheduled yet and will remain as a draft until moved out of the draft state. Draft posts are not visible to users with a client role. A post that is pending approval requires approval from another collaborator. This post needs another set of eyes to approve it before moving forward. A post that requires extra work will be put in the requires edit state. You and your collaborators can continue working on the post until it is ready to be approved and then move it to the pending approval state. After being reviewed and approved, a post moves into the approved state. From there, a post can be scheduled. Note that a post must be in the scheduled state in order to be published on your social media channels. Once a post is published, it will move to the published state. This indicates that the publishing process has been completed successfully and the post is live on your social media channels. Finally, a post can be canceled. This is most appropriate if you created content for a post that you no longer would like to publish but prefer not to delete. For example, this status is ideal if your client does not approve a post or if the content is no longer relevant. To assign someone to a post, just select your collaborator's name in the Assigned To drop-down menu available in both List View and Post View. Once assigned, a collaborator is notified by email through a push notification on mobile or via Slack or Microsoft Teams, depending on their personal notification preferences. We will get back to this in a brief moment. If your team works in batches and you would rather let your collaborators know once an entire calendar is ready for review rather than assigning them individual posts, you can use the Notify a Collaborator feature. A 
Additionally, you can take advantage of bulk actions to approve multiple posts at once, or when a new collaborator joins your team and you want to assign several of your latest posts to them in batch. You can also communicate with your team through comments within Loomly from both list view and post view. If you want to leave a comment for a specific collaborator, simply at mention them, type your comment and press enter. Your collaborator will be notified accordingly. The comment history, as well as the change history of a post, is available for all collaborators so that everyone can remain on the same page at all times. If you want to keep a comment private and therefore not visible to users with a client role, you can make that comment private. Finally, if a comment particularly deserves your team's attention, you can pin it to the top of your post history to make sure everyone sees it when they view the post. Furthermore, you can collaborate with your team on a library asset which includes image, video, note, and post template. Copy the asset URL and share the asset view with your team so they can preview the asset, track asset history, edit metadata for an asset, and even more. Last but not least, you can assign interactions to collaborators to ensure your team properly engages with your audience. Not only are you able to see who has replied to a specific interaction, but you can also filter interactions by assignee to see the interactions you or your collaborator have been assigned. When necessary, you can extend collaboration offline with our content export feature and get an overview of your activities. You are able to export list view, calendar view, and post view as PDF files, advanced analytics as a PDF or CSV file. Finally, as hinted earlier, you can receive notifications through four channels in Loomly, emails, push notifications, Slack, Microsoft Teams, in your account settings, under the Notifications tab, you can set which actions trigger which type of notification for each of your calendars. And that's it! You should be ready to collaborate in Loomly. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team either through our chat or via email at contact at Thanks for watching this tutorial.